Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this radical equation square root of x plus square root of y equals to square root of 2 plus square root of 3. And now we are going to solve for x and y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and take a square on both sides of this equation. Let me go ahead and take a square on this side and let me go ahead and take a square on this side as well. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side of this equation. So the left hand side is going to become square root of x whole square plus square root of y whole square plus 2 times square root of x times square root of y equals to on the right hand side this square and square root they undo each other so we ended up with 2 plus square root of 3 and now on the left hand side this square and square root they undo each other we got x plus uh, likewise these uh, square and square root they undo each other we got y plus uh, 2 times square root of uh, x times y equals to 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and compare these parts x plus y compares with the 2 and this is going to compare with these radical part so therefore we can write x plus y equals to 2 and on this side we can write 2 times square root of x times y equals to square root of 3. And now let's go ahead and take the square on both sides of this equation. I'm going to take a square on this side and square on this side as a well, so on the left hand side, this is going to become 2 square is 4 times this square and square root unto each other. We got xy equals to here this square and square root is gone. So we got simply 3. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4. This 4 and 4 is gone. So we simply ended up with x times y equal to 3 over 4. And now we can see that the sum of the two roots are equal to 2 and the product of these two roots turns out to be 3 over 4. And here's our next step. Let's suppose that x and y are the roots to the quadratic equation of this given form where this sum of the roots are going to be this one which is 2 and the product of the roots is going to be 3 over 4. So I'm going to write down 3 divided by 4. So therefore our quadratic equation could be written as z square minus 2z plus 3 over 4 equal to 0. And now let me go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 4 across the board with all these terms. So we are going to get 4z square minus 4 times 2 is 8z and then plus this 4 and 4 is gone. So we got 3 equal to 0 times 4 is 0. And now we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by grouping and factoring. Let's focus on this negative 8z. This could be written as negative 6z minus 2z. And now we can see that 2z is in common between first these two terms and these last two terms negative 1 is in common. Therefore, we can factor out 2z outside and we got 2z minus 3 and here I'm going to factor out negative 1. We got 2z minus 3 equal to 0. And now we can see 2z minus 3 and 2z minus 3 is in common. So therefore, we can factor out 2z minus 3 times 2z minus 1 equals to 0. Let's go ahead and separate them. We can write 2z 
minus 3 equal to 0 and on this other side 2z minus 1 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and add 3 on both sides of this side of equation. This is gone. So we got 2z equal to 3. And now let's divide both sides by 2. So our z value turns out to be simply 3 divided by 2. And now let's go ahead and add 1 on both sides on this side. So this is gone. So we got 2z equals to 1. Now let's divide by 2 on both sides. So we are going to get z turns out to be 1 over 2. And here's our final step. We know that x and y are the roots to this given quadratic equation. So therefore our solution for x and y is going to be simply, I'm going to write them both of them. So this is going to be 3 divided by 2 comma 1 over 2 or if we switch them around we can also write this one solution as 1 over 2 and then 3 over 2. So thus our solution to this given radical equation turns out to be 3 over 2 comma 1 over 2 and the other solution is 1 over 2 comma 3 over 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.